Uh, my name is Todd Barrett, and I'm here with Barrett Paul. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Of course. Um, and I'm here to talk to him today about relationships and sex. Uh, I've been following him for a long time, and uh, what I really like about the content that he creates is it's super authentic uh, and it's super vulnerable. So I wanted to know more about him and your experience with dating, relationships, and sex. Um, so. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you. Um, so just tell me, um, for those people who do not know, what is your current relationship status? Are you single, dating, closed down for business, what's going on? I am single, and for the first time maybe ever, like comfortable with being single and dating and looking for my partner and not feeling like, I need to get married tomorrow, but like enjoying the process mm -hmm. and my own time, which at 31 I think is a good thing. Okay, that does sound nice. So, the er, why am I not married yet? When was that and how did that evolve to where you are now? Oh, man, here we go. Once I accepted my sexuality and came out of the closet and started to explore dating men, I fell very quickly, very fast for the men that I was going on dates with because I was like, well, this is what you do, right? You like go on a date and you fall in love and then you get married and very quickly you learn that that's not everyone's MO and eventually that maybe doesn't become your MO. Um, and so when was the last relationship that you had? The last boyfriend I had was we stopped dating in February. This February? This past February. Okay. And so how has it been to uh, go from being in a relationship, an intimate relationship, having sex in an intimate relationship, to dating, meeting strangers, being vulnerable, mm -hmm. going on first dates. Yeah. What has that transition been like for you? I've been an open book for basically as long as I can remember. I just think that to hide who you are and to try and put on a front mm -hmm. to make someone else like you is gonna lead to a disaster because eventually you, your authentic self comes out. Um, so for me, I don't have much of a difference between dating and being in a relationship in terms of who I am. How have you learned um, to, or what do you pick up on or pay attention to when you're on a date, for a second, whatever, um, in terms of do I like this person, do I not like this person, um, you know, what does the intuition feel like when you're with somebody, you know, how do you know? Um, because sometimes it's just you're meeting somebody for the first time and maybe you're just constipated or you're just anxious <laughs> and you're just bored. Yeah, totally. Um, but so how do you break through some of that stuff? What is it that you pick up on that tells you, oh, I really want to explore this, see if there's a connection there, etc.? Again, I think it goes back to being open and honest about what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're looking just to be single and have fun, then I think you need to say that. And if you're looking for a long-term relationship, you also need to be okay expressing that, you know? Yeah, so do you do you say that, like when you're going on dates with guys, do you tell them I'm looking for a relationship, <laughs> um, do you say I'm open, you know, whatever, yeah. <laughs> what I do mean, you say? At, at this point in my life, I think I am truly at a place where I don't have an agenda mm. when it comes to going into a first date, but I'm also not going to sit there and be like, I'm just looking to have casual fun for the next X amount of time, like I'm looking to meet my person. I stopped playing on Tinder because I really do think it's playing. I think <laughs> it's a game. Because I like the way that you phrase that. How do you find your experience dating as a gay guy um, with your other queer friends? Like in terms of how much back and forth there is about relationships, love, dating, sex. Because um, I think uh, there's so much conversation about sex and who you're fucking, but beyond that, um, I often find that deeper conversations about love um, or making connections with somebody, etc., cetera, um, isn't always central. So what's your experience um, there been like? I very quickly go deep. I've just found like I, I'm interested in like, you know, the beginnings, like where are you from, siblings, all that, but like, then I'm like, my name is Barrett and who did you want love from most as a child? Yeah, I mean like I'm kind of that person. <laughs> Let's have a shamanic experience. Yes. Exactly. Um, I'm jumping around, but just tell me, so what is your relationship with love like? I think that I was someone who never fully experienced love in a mature adult way from a young age, even with my parents. And as I've grown and matured and reflected on my relationships with my family, but also my rela friends, romantic relationships, I've understood that there's been points in my life where I was kind of addicted to love mm -hmm. and searching for it because A, I didn't... Is that when you were younger, what you were saying earlier? Yeah, and like even more so in the beginnings of my like 
proper dating life as a gay man. After having, you know, a few significant men in my life who I would call boyfriends or were very fundamental in how I look at love, it's changed each time. Well, so I kind of want to shift a little bit. Um, let's talk about sex. So tell me how has your relationship with sex changed over the years? So sex when you were 20, when did you come out? I started coming out around 20. Okay, so 20 and, yeah. to now. Yeah. Um, how has your sexuality, your experience with sex changed over the past 10 years? When I was 20, I had my first sexual experience, which was my like first gay date. All those things happened at the same night. Okay. We didn't have like- It's a big night. Yes, proper like intercourse intercourse, but there was other sexual acts that happened. Right. Sex isn't just penetration. No, it's not. But um, when I was 20 and had that encounter, to me it was like, I was- for sure infatuated. He was older by 15 years. I thought he had his shit together. He was hot. He was nice to me. It was like the first time I had felt desired from someone that I also desired. Mm -hmm. And so all those things confused me when it came to sex because I was like, oh my gosh, I love him and this is like everything. And I very quickly from him realized that there was people that gonna want to just sleep with you mm -hmm. and that was all they wanted from you. Were there any challenges that you had sexually? Um, mm -hmm. from the beginning to where you are now. Yeah, for sure. sex is kind of like dancing, you know, once you start dancing, you're not that great unless you're just a really good dancer. Well, maybe, unless you're a really good dancer, fine. I'm a really but good dancer. Still, and I like to think I'm really good at sex. But, but still, <laughs> if you like, once you dance, start dancing yes. more and start practicing, yes. you get better. And yes. the same thing goes with sex. So where did you start out? And what were some of the challenges that you initially had and how did you get over them? Sure, I feel like I'm, I'm shorter, I'm more compact. Like people look at me and they just expect me to be one sexual role. And I don't think I've ever talked about this on camera or in my own stuff, so get ready. But I believe that you need to be fully open to everything in terms of sex. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just definitely going to limit the sex pleasure that you're going to have. Totally. So it's like if you're only into anal sex, then like, what totally. happens if your partner gets a fisher? Totally. Or like <laughs> being just top or being just bottom or like, yeah. I think you just have to have the mindset to be open when it comes to everything. But so challenges, so what were the challenges, challenges. you had and how did you overcome them? I think one of them was being comfortable allowing someone to, I want to say almost like being more submissive to someone. So letting go of control. Yes, and I think it's about being comfortable and also a mindset. So it sounds like it, it took a while for you to explore and to play with power in terms of letting go of yes. control yes. Um, rather than being in control. Yes. Um, anything else? You know, when you're sexually, younger, sexually, maybe in terms of your body, uh, in terms of what you asked for um, or didn't. I think again, as you get older, you just experience other things. So like figuring out more of like what are you into versus what are you not into, and being okay with asking for it and saying, hey, I'm not into that. Yeah. What about you? And, well, so sexually, when I was younger, um, I've always been in relationships. Okay. Um, and so in the context of those relationships, I was always having a lot of sex and. Um, I think I was just kind of, as you were saying, going with the flow, um, and my voice, I wasn't really able to foster my voice until I got into this last relationship, um, and I think it was just because it was such an intimate relationship that um, I was really able to explore, like, the depths of my sexuality. Um, so that really helped me become uh, connected with who I am sexually, and like what I found erotic, and what was arousing, and how to pursue that. Um, but doing that, however, now with people that I'm not in a relationship with, for a long period of time, mm -hmm. that's been a challenge for me. So the casual hookups, like, uh, not my favorite. I need to feel comfortable with somebody before I'm like totally my 100% sexual self. Um, so this is a kind of a cliche question, but I think it's interesting nonetheless. If you could tell your younger self something about sex today that you've learned, what would you tell him? Don't worry about everyone else and allow yourself to do what feels right for you I don't know, I, I think it really is just like, almost get ready for an incredible ex like life. And tell me, what do you want for your future sexual self? What I want for my future sexual self is yeah. to continue to evolve and explore the things that feel good to me, but with someone that I really do care about. I think it's important to go <laughs> in with an open mind. Well, you said open a lot, which I like, because it implies hope and flexibility. Yes, uh, yes. Which is a really important part of relationships, yes. and a really important part of sex, um, whether it's with yourself or with other people. Totally. Um, so, I like that. 
Um, well, thank you so much for sharing everything. I shared a uh, lot. This yeah, is more than I've ever shared about sex this before. This fun. I'm glad that you felt comfortable to do so. Yeah. So thank you for sharing and being vulnerable. Thank really you. Really appreciate it.